we are given these two cylinders that are connected by two threads we need to find the tension in each thread so let's say tension in each thread is t so combined tension will be 2t so this is the diagram which we come to so let's immediately write the torque equation on each cylinder assuming the angular accelerations to be alpha 1 and alpha 2 and let's say the center of o is moving down with a2 so i alpha 1 is equal to 2tr and 2tr is equal to i alpha 2 which means alpha 1 is equal to alpha 2 let's call it alpha so value of alpha will be 2tr by i so we need the value of tension but what we got is alpha so now we need to focus on this lower cylinder so that we can manage the forces on that cylinder and find the value of tension so our force equation on this cylinder will be mg minus 2t is equal to ma2 but we don't know the value of a2 so for to find that let's just see this this is turning with alpha so this point is going down with alpha r which means this point P is also going down, down with alpha R and this point with respect to this point is going alpha R down. So net A2 is going to be alpha R plus alpha R. So let's, uh, so once again I'll explain. So this point, this rope is going down with alpha R because of this. And this point with respect to this rope is going down with alpha R. So this rope is going down with alpha r and this is going down with further alpha r with respect to it. So net acceleration a2 is 2 alpha r. So mathematically a2 is equal to ap plus alpha r. So ap itself is alpha r due to rolling of this due to rotation rotation of this cylinder. So this becomes 2 alpha r. And now we put the value of alpha here and we get a2 in terms of tension. So we put that value here and then we'll be we'll only have one variable tension and we'll get the value of it right 